Once upon a time, in a magical fairy village nestled amongst the clouds, lived a bright-eyed little girl named Begum. She was known for her hard-working nature and her unfailing kindness. Begum was not an ordinary girl, she was special. She could see fairies and talk to animals, a secret she held close to her heart. One day, while Begum was helping the fairies collect stardust, she spotted a small rabbit frantically hopping around. The rabbit, named Ruffles, was in distress. He had lost the grand race last year against the fleet-footed fairies and was afraid he would lose again this year. His confidence was shattered, and he feared being laughed at. Begum, with her tender heart, decided to help Ruffles. She knew that winning isn't everything, but trying your best is. She told Ruffles, remember, the only time you fail is when you stop trying. Every day, Begum and Ruffles trained together. They practiced running, hopping, and even some flying with the help of fairy dust. Ruffles gradually started to regain his confidence, and they both worked hard, never losing their motivation even when things got tough. The day of the big race came, and the entire fairy village was buzzing with excitement. Ruffles was nervous, but Beacom reassured him, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, Ruffles. What matters is that you try your best. And so, the race began. Ruffles hopped, ran, and flew with all his might. He stumbled a few times, but he didn't give up. He kept pushing forward, motivated by Beacom's encouraging words. In the end, Ruffles didn't win the race. He came second, narrowly beaten by a swift fairy. But there were no tears this time, only a wide smile on his face. He had tried his best, and that was all that mattered. The fairy village cheered for Ruffles, chanting his name. They admired his determination and spirit more than the victory itself. Ruffles thanked Begum, his eyes sparkling with gratitude, I may not have won, but I feel like a winner, Begum. And it's all because of you. That night, as Beacom laid in her bed, she smiled, remembering the day's events. Her heart was filled with pride, not for any medal or trophy, but for helping a friend believe in himself again. So, dear children, always remember, it's not about winning or losing, but about never giving up. Keep trying, keep learning, and you will be a winner in your own right. As Beacom closed her eyes, the twinkling stars whispered this lesson into the night, ensuring that the children in the fairy village and beyond would carry it in their hearts. And that's the story of Beacom and the rabbit's remarkable race in the fairy village, a tale of hard work, perseverance, and true friendship. Now, let's close our eyes and dream of our own remarkable races. Good night, dear ones. Sleep tight and dream beautiful dreams.